All right, so I just got my Everdell pledge. I got the complete collection box and the new expansions, resource vessels, the tails from green, the green acorn, and some art prints. So we'll just take it one step by one step. So you got base game, Pearl Brook. Sorry for the shiny lights, I'm not using my normal lights. Uh, Spirecrest, Belfair. New Leaf, Mistwood, and the uh, Complete Collection. So they're nice little prints. Maybe I'll use them one day. All right, what should we dig into? Um, you know what, let's just go for the big thing. And then we'll check these out in a second. Because I know you all want to see what's inside of this. See if I can do this without getting my arm in the way, but I don't think I can. Oh, this is huge. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Woo. Just a, just a little bit big. All right. So first off, love that they have this. Tells you where to place everything. Little pictures with diagrams. I like it. How to assemble the tree and the wonders. Let's see what the kind of quality is on these things. I do like that they have a lid. Oh, look at that. I like little inlays. I wonder if something goes on there. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, this looks like this is where the uh oh she's just on top of the tree. Looks like the tree would go here. The one that's taken apart. Don't know if you can really see that. It's like the pieces, possibly. I don't know. Alright, so double lids. Um it's pretty thin actually. I got some sad corners here. I feel like there could be holes soon if you're not careful. But I mean, yeah, it looks okay. Oh, what's this? <gasps> Just a piece of paper. Oh, okay. This is exciting. Because with all the different expansions, there's so many different rule books and places to look. Oh, look at this. Comprehensive. Everdell rules, and it looks so fancy, and it's thick. Okay. I wonder if they have both solo modes in here now, because I think one of the newer expansions came out with, like, 1.0. But yeah, that, that's really nice. I like that. The archive. I think, is this supposed to be, like, things that have happened? I don't know. Are just an extra reference. Okay, I like all the different critters, things you might see. Okay, so like if you have extra questions about certain cards or things. All right, all right. Interesting. Ooh, that was fancy. I have not, I don't really know tons about the new expansions because I wanted to keep some of it a surprise for myself. So, looks good. The key thing is going to be putting this back together. I mean, I have that picture, but you know. Um, let's do this. Oh, that's nice. Looks like each expansion, maybe, like, see, this looks all pearl brookie, has its own little box, too. So you can, like, get it out quickly. Okay. So your wonders, they, since they're 3D, that gives them space for them to sit, looks like. But yeah, it looks all, like, there's the frog, the fish, all undersea looking. That's cool. I like that. Um, okay, let's see, Ugh. how do I do this? Everything fits so snugly. Okay, there we go. So this says Everdell on it. Okay, it looks like it has like, you know, like put the coins here. So it matches up, oh, that's cool. Yeah, so it's like the one coins, three coins, gems and stuff, that's nice. 
tell you where it goes. The new saddles. Okay, so I was one of the original backers for the uh, Spidercrest one, and my saddles didn't work. So it looks like, yeah, these are definitely more springy. These are rubbery. So it would be cool to actually use these, but if you put the stickers on the meeples, you can't use the saddles. I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do with the, the stickers. So more um, this to make doors, I'm assuming. I have no idea what the yellow ones are for. Sounds like something's broken. And I'm so glad they finally get... Ooh, these are six coins. Nice. Okay. That works too. Because um, in the collector's edition, you get these little metal tokens or ones and threes. And then any other collectors you get, you didn't get any more metal coins. Which I feel like was sorely needed. So, that's nice that they did that. Okay. Next, folks. This looks fancy. This one's more like a shadow tray. Uh, what is on this? Oh, this looks like new leaves because we've got like the train there. I don't know what the other things. Feels kind of sticky. There's a little scratch there, but whatever. Oh, okay, you can put your player boards there. Random things. Okay, here we go. So more doors, and then these look like gold leaf, so that might be for new leaf. New score pad. Is it double sided? Double sided. Okay, all right. Cool, cool. I do like all the lids to these. Keep everything in place a bit better. This looks like the base game color. How do you? Oh, there we go. Everdale. Oh, this is broken. This is all like felt. Okay, this must be for the boards, but oh, straight up broken. Um, two of the four corners. Well, hopefully, it stays in place more. I know uh, with mine, how it was boxed, there was zero padding for this, so I was kind of nervous. Um, yeah, we'll just leave that in for now. <laughs> Alright. And then let's check this out. Maybe. Okay, this is, looks like Spirecrest, maybe? Or maybe not, also. Oh yeah, card storage, that would be it. Oh, look at the little turtle with the top hat, if you can see that. I don't know if you can. Anyway. Okay, so, what do we have? Base game and main deck. Oh, okay, these are little dividers, sweet. Because there's going to be so many cards and so many, like, things put together. These are slightly taller. Focus, there you go. So you can separate things, I'm guessing. Or I could be totally wrong. Oh yeah, Spire Crest. I like it. All right. So yeah, that way you can put it in here, have it all separated. I don't know what these are. Oh, okay, for the small cards. So I guess you're gonna get some more small cards. Player powers, stuff are nice. Okay. Something like that. Extra foam for, you know, if you don't have all the cards or maybe it doesn't fill it up all the way. What is this? Oh, yeah. Okay. This is a little promo pack. I can't remember if this was free just for back day or not. It might have been. It's alternate card art. There we go. So this is Corinne Evertail, the king. The leader. It's kind of like stained glass almost style. Looks cute. Okay. I don't remember exactly everything, like what this is for. Oh, you can get it like signed by Andrew Bosley. Like go to a convention, and get it signed by him. Cool, cool. Uh, promo pack, it says. See, it's been so long since. <laughs> I backed this and like I didn't want to like find out too much of everything because I still wanted it to sort of be a surprise for like what's gonna be going on. I can't remember everything. Um, how are you stuck on here? Okay, I'm gonna just get out of the top. 
Nope, it's taped down. Just don't want to hurt the cards. Holy tape, Batman. <laughs> Sorry, that's my song in the background if you heard that. Okay. What is the face? Okay. Um, so I feel like I've heard of this one. Maybe they changed it. Oh, yeah, they changed the wording. Um, the husband wife cards, I think they now have harvester and gatherer cards. Uh, so yeah, I think they just changed the wording on these. <clears throat> Promo pack for everyone. Rules for compatibility between printings. Okay, interesting. Oh, yeah, okay, so yeah, look, you have specific names. Interesting. So I think these are like what you can use instead of hunter, gatherer, or husband, wife. They gave some with different names. Or maybe they're different, I don't know. Uh, blank one, so you can label it how you want. Oh, there's a lot of them. Okay. I will have to go back and check. I feel like a lot of these are extras. You don't have to have them, but they have, these ones have like different pictures depending on which characters you pick. And McGregor's Market. Okay. Cool. Oops. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know if you can see that, but it's all squished. It's a little bit sad down there. Okay. So then this is the sticker pack. It has like, I don't know, like 200 stickers. Enough that you can do, I think, the front and back of all of them. I won't be going through all these right now, but um, yeah, I'm really debating on if I want to use these or not. Okay. So now let's check out the other stuff. Okay. So we'll take a quick look at the resource deluxe tray. Um, this was an add-on, and I think these are supposed to fit in the box, like in the little holes that, the sections that were labeled for, so I think these should fit in just fine, with the components in it, making set up, hopefully, a lot quicker. Okay, this plastic stuff is sticky. Okay, so, little acorns. I did have some 3D printed from a friend. I think I'll probably give those to my brother and use these new ones instead. A little tree stump. There's something inside it. Anyway. All right. Oh my goodness, look at this little card. Cute. I hope it's like easy to get the stuff out of it. Tiny little acorns. Have little like feet prints on them. The boat looks massive. But I like it. It feels like decent quality, like it's nice and hard. The basket. Probably for the berries, I'm assuming. And then a shell for the pearls. And, ooh, I forgot about these. Um, I do have 3D printed things to kind of hold these up. These are to hold up little goal cards, but they have the slot there. They have different colors. You can use whatever season you feel like. It's kind of cool. Again, I think these are supposed to fit inside the big box, so that'll be nice. They did a pretty good job. I'm glad it doesn't look as like shiny as it seemed in the pictures. <clears throat> All right. Are you ready? Mistwood. So this one has a spider. The only spider I will allow in this game. Okay, I'm not a big fan of spiders. But... Okay. Yeah, so it looks like the Evertree is getting taken over, and I think everybody's trying to, like, conquer. I can't remember if this is, like, kind of, like, scenarios or campaign. It's kind of bashed in corner. Hold on. I feel like there's something sticking out. 
Let's look at purple. I like the purple. Okay. You can play Everdell on digital now. Tabletop tycoon stuff. Okay. I mean, we already have like the big rule book, but I'll kind of flick through this a little bit. Ooh, this is it? Cool. Yeah. All right. We got some punch boards with some little spider webs on them. New player boards, probably for, oh yeah, the night weave, that's what it's called. Okay. Here it is, the giant spider. And what maples do we have this time around? I'll probably use incorrect names, so please don't judge. Okay, so we've got the Nightweave spider. This looks like a meerkat or something. Butterfly and a piggy. Okay. So I think, is this the one that comes with a new solo mode? So you got a D12. In the original game, there was a D8. Uh, frogs and rabbit travelers to match. Let's check out these cards. So are they going to say English on the back of all of these? I know they printed out in different languages. Okay, this is just a little in between card. So, okay. Stoats. Is that how you say it? I don't know. Uh, that's their player powers. That is a lot of cards. Be interesting to try the game with these new expansions and see, you know, what I end up liking better or not. Ooh, look at that pass. Oh, pumpkins! I'm gonna love all this new art. Andrew Bosley is one of my favorite board game artists. I mean, obviously he does art for other things too, but. He makes pretty looking. He makes games look pretty. So many, ooh. Webs. Interesting, okay. Don't wanna like spoil too much. Interesting, all right, all right. Ooh, job well done. Okay. Oh, that's pretty cool. So that one is Nightweave. I mean, Mistwood with Nightweave stuff. Kind of gives it like a little bit of a darker tone for such a happy place. Okay. Oops, forgot my baggie. Alright, now let's check out New Leaf. This one adds big critters that come to visit. Something like that. So you get a little train. Yeah, this one looks all like happy and cheerful. This would like grim darkness. Okay. Ads, ads, new leaf. So you get a new sideboard. Okay. Let's check it out. So, I mean, we did get the metal coins, but you have the punch boards. Ooh, some new events. Tickets, like little train tickets, that's cool. Look at that. Cute. Okay. So now, there we go. New boards. We got the little train track. Doo -doo 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 -doo. That's cool. So I got something on each side. Yeah, yeah, all the sides. Left, right, bottom, and top. That's really nice. I like that you can, you know, you can actually put your whole hand in there. Don't know what it's for, but it looks pretty. Baggies. 
And what do we got now? Alright, we got um little snail. This is a very close to the owl color. I'm kind of surprised they picked that color. Uh the cats, bees, and the bats. There's frog and rabbit travelers. These look cool. I didn't know these would actually be a piece in the game. These look like little like wax seals. That's pretty nifty. Maybe get like awards or something. I don't know. I like it though. It would be cool if they were a little bit more like rubbery, like the uh, berries, but they're hard plastic. All right. Air balloon. There's different versions of it. Oh, these are common constructions. Okay. Well, look at that little happy baker. Bank. Chips fish. City hall. The conductor. Oh my goodness. He's so cute. Look at that diplomat. Ever wall. Freight car. Gardener. So many. Nice. These look so cool. I love it. I like how the the photographer is the spider. He's got eight eyes, so you know maybe he's really good at that. Poet. Tea house. All right. Cute. Love the art on this one. I'm guessing these are most likely just stuff to go with them, but we'll find out. Oh. New thing. Okay, so these are like passengers who can come on the train, it looks like. So that's, there's a lot of those. That's cool. Lots of cute characters. Okay, and then here's some more uh, special events. I like that. Ooh, wow. Look at those different, you know, three green, two brown. Okay, I like that there's more options. Ooh, forest options, yes. And the player powers, okay. So this was New Leaf. Okay, how was this in here? I don't even remember. Right this. Okay. And now, finally, I'm just going to give a little sneak peek of this. Uh, I know some people on social media were wondering, you know, what's inside this? It's the tales from the green acorn, the world and art of Everdell. I've only taken, actually, so there's also a giant map, which is pretty cool. Maybe I'll stick this on top of here. Make that a little easier. All right, so here's a small version of basically what this map is. I love it, it looks so cool. It's the whole land. Um, so it looks like it goes through the tale of Corin Evertale, which I think is probably like one of the founders. Um, around the Evertree, uh, this is hard to look through here. But it has some, like, different things about the game and, like, developing it and also just, like, the lore of it, I think. Where was it? No, I don't know where it was at. But I saw some where, like, there was, like, a in-between, like, showing, like, how the progress of the board was made, how it looked originally. I mean, just so much art. I'm excited to just check this out. I know that's super nerdy, but... <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, so here's like a whole bunch of work in progress to make the final uh, cover art. Other characters. I love seeing it. Yeah, here's, here it is. 
how it started and then how it ended. Pretty cool. Lots more of that. Okay, the puzzles. I have done this puzzle. It was so hard. <laughs> it was a nightmare. And I have this one. I need to do it. I still kind of want to do the other ones, but I'm like, I don't know if I want to torture myself through that. Uh, okay. Down there. Yeah, so Looks like they go by expansion there. Ooh, all the card art. That's super cool. So much stuff. And look at this. So pretty. Everything about this is so pretty. But anyway... So that's everything that we got for ugh, Everdell. I oh, can't even see it last so big. The complete collection. Uh, I might make another video of like reboxing and putting it all together. But other than that, super excited. Uh, pretty good quality for the most part. Some of the inserts, a little thin in my opinion. Wish there was a bit more padding and packaging but everything looks pretty good and oh, i'm so excited i'll catch you on the next time this is allison with better half reviews have a good one